To access college schedule through your pause, so you are on your pause dashboard, you select manage classes. On manage classes, you could select college schedule on the left hand side of your screen. Once you click college schedule, it should open up a separate tab on your computer, which will provide you with the option to select the term that you prefer. So we're going to go with spring 2025. Once you click save and continue, it should bring you to the dashboard of college scheduler, which will allow you to build a schedule, add classes to your shopping cart and view your current schedule. So at the top of your screen, it gives you different options that you can change to your preference. So for example, we can change instruction mode to just in-person classes. So I will deselect everything besides in-person and you are welcome to do these to your preference. And once you are done, you can click save. And if you keep going down, you have the option to add courses as well as breaks. So for example, for a course, you click add course and it should bring you to add courses for spring 2025. And you can add courses by subject, course attribute, by instructor, course number, as well as class number. So for this example, we're gonna use by subject. So in subject, you can select any course that you would like. You would do art education, um, 200 sophomore review for art education, and you would add that course to your list and you can add as many courses as you desire. So another course that we can do is accounting uh, for 201 financial accounting, and you could add that course to your list as well. And once you have reached the number of courses that you desire, you can generate your schedule, which will bring you back to your dashboard. So before you generate your schedule, if you have any prior commitments or work shifts that you like to enter, you are welcome to enter it here. This will allow you to add classes to your shopping cart and enroll in classes that do not conflict with your work schedule. So for example, if I add a break for my work as a pack on Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. and I would add that break. So that is now checked off. And before I generate my schedule, I wanna make sure that I have selected everything above that will determine my schedule. So I have selected my job as well as my two classes that I'm interested in. I will click generate schedules, which will provide me with multiple options if possible of what classes to select and schedules. If you go through them, it will give you different options and you can pick which one works for you. So for example, we'll pick the first option. This will provide us with the courses that you have picked in your list. These are not in your shopping cart at the moment, which you can send to your shopping cart from this. So for example, at the top, I have the two courses that I have added to my list. And this is the calendar view of how those courses will look on a weekly basis with my work. So once I have done that, I can lock these courses in and I can send them to my shopping cart. So I have saved these courses to my shopping cart. Once I have done that, I can validate to make sure that my shopping cart looks good and I have some prereqs that have not been met. Therefore, it will tell me which is the error message for why you are unable to enroll in that class. So you would have to take care of that. But then once there is no error message, you should be able to register for your classes, which then will provide you with your current schedule at the top corner when you click build your schedule, because um, I haven't done that yet. However, this is where your current schedule will be shown.